Then it's very, very windy, so you're probably not hear me too good. But today, I'm just outside East Riggs, I've forgotten the name of the farm just in the background there. And it's the first time this year with Rodney and uh, Brooke Johnson. I'm sure of her. <laughs> that's who's more than likely on the, the bailer today, a massive Ferguson and a massive Ferguson there. So, <laughs> Heather Brighton, good afternoon there. And Andrew Neal. So, it's just the first time round the headland. And I, I probably would have been better filming from the car out of the wind. But I'll just stay on for a button come past. So, uh, Thomas Gibson, are you? Not watching the tennis today? Oh, you've been watching the tennis. So I've had uh, the round baler up at Moffat. Two round balers up at Moffat there. A small baler near Hoddam the other day. And now the big square baler here that I filmed in the past quite a few times there. So we came past on the the bus earlier on there, we don't even get for our lunch, and it actually came, the rain came on there. So, Stuart Winter is watching there. So I'm sure it's a, a 67 18 or a 77 18, possibly anyway. And a Massey Ferguson 25, a serious two big spare bailer there. The 7618. So, also got the rapper just coming behind there. Certainly seems to do a very good job anyway, the tariff. So, it shouldn't it just be as windy this way? Hopefully, not anyway. Climate senior there, good afternoon. Uh, it's nice to see the big bales being made here. As I said, it's very, very windy again. It never seems to go away. It's not going to be flying any drones today, that's for sure. I usually get abuse from Brooke, but hopefully not today. Usually got the big air horns, tries to fly me on the way by there. Uh, it appears to have his shorts on, I can see some white legs here anyway. Certainly less complicated than some of the other big spear wrappers that pick them up. And, uh, so. Anyway, as I said, I'm just going for a couple of minutes. Might go back to the car and want to get around the end rig. And I'm sure the someone actually came into the field to start lifting the bales as well. So once I get a bit of space made, I'll probably get the car round about and uh, be much easier for me there. Karen Warwick there, good afternoon there. So hopefully it will stay dry to get this finished. So it's it's haylage, it's not uh, hay, but it should be quite good stuff. It should be okay there. So it's quite a big row of grass round the end. It doesn't take long to get a bale there. I see one up in its end there. <laughs> Don't know how that one will work out. Just wait and see. But Brooke does. Then I'm going to switch off and get some footage from my YouTube channel. Uh, I'll probably just knock it over with the machine here, more than likely. So I'm quite handy. It's not far from where I live in Annan. Just three strings there on my right hand side. So I'm not sure if anybody else will be bailing today. Uh, more than likely will be, but I don't know if anybody else is. 
If anybody does, let me know. Uh, you just knock it over with the machine, that's, that's how it goes. Anyway, as I said, it's very, very windy. Not very good audio. Hope you've been <laughs> watching some of my bailer actions with a small wheeler there. Speed it up for a moment from just outside these rigs. As per usual, I've got the name in the farm. We'll probably see it in a wee bye. Take care. Catch you later. Bye just now.